Oh, I am your talk host, Bob, because I find having fun watching these practice videos, getting really cool trick ideas. As it is, I probably want to present to you fun time. Rockin' school sensations and big time trucks school pranks and gigs. Now oh, here's your host of the video, Reese Naibo. Here we are with session 19. Hello, I'm your host, Reese Nabo, and I'm really happy to be here to, tonight to give you some more really cool trick ideas for back to school. Because as it is, it's always good to get even more tricks that we you can um, bring your own spirits up, and not just that. It's also a great way of kickstarting school and surprising your new classmates. So what is it tonight? I'm going to be showing you tricks from numbers 1 to 14. I'll see you in the li living room. Okay, so let's get to our, fir our, our first one of the evening. And that is the clear Dixie Cup rubber balls trick. Here is the performance. Okay, can I see here? I have my Dixie cup here. Can check. Okay, you can see is I got one hand empty here, and I got the other hand empty here too. As it is, watch this. Got one. By magic into there. Gonna pick that one up. And not as that is, watch this. And now for the second. See here? Here's what you'll need for this trick. You'll need is this little um, clear Dixit cup here, and you're gonna need is two different color bouncy balls that you see in, in my hand. Here's what you'll be doing. First, you're gonna palm these into your hand like this. Okay, there's the two of them. Make sure that they fit into your hand. From here, you're gonna show one hand empty, and then show the cup completely empty. Then from here gonna be quick and pass these into your other hand. Then show the other hand hand empty. What it's gonna do is gonna go over one ball here and be quick as you get that ball inside there. And then over here you're going to retain this ball with your ring finger. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna take the first ball. Out. Again, the Dixie Cup is tilted for the next one. You're going to rotate this one here from your ring finger in two position. And then again, by fast, it will appear in the Dixie Cup. And that is how you do the clear Dixie Cup rubber balls trick. Now for our second one, which is the magic gl glowing gum trick gag. Here is the performance. Oh, what I step on? Ew, I got gum on my shoe. That's just nasty. Oh, I think I better take my, take my shoe off. I was gonna look at my uh, shoe with this uh, flashlight here. Whoa. Hmm. Oh! Holy Toledo! The gum is glowing. Okay, that's just so strange. How is this prank done? Because I'm about to reveal the secret behind it. The gum on the shoe. You want to know what this is? I'll, sh I'll sh sh show you right now. 
That is what you'll see right here. Silly putty. This silly putty is completely different. You know what it does? It glows in the dark. Okay. There's also stuff on the back as well, as well too, but it also makes for a really cool effect. And it also looks an awful lot like real gum. The other things you'll need is a shoe, and of course, you'll, you'll be needing a flashlight. What you're going to do is you're going to place a silly putty in the bottom of your shoe, or your friend's shoe, and then have them turn off the light, that way it's nice and dark. But before, before you do, you're going to use and turn on your flashlight. And just wait a few moments. And then turn off the lights. And then have them say, can you turn your shoe up? The shoe gets turned over. Everyone sees the gum is glowing. As you can see, in the dark, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so let's turn off the lights. Here is me and the flashlight that I'm um, holding up. So I just hold on to it here, and then I'm going to go, you can see, it now glows in the dark, as you can see right here. Making sure if you're going to want to do it again, you can do it a second time, hold it for a little bit more longer. That way you'll get a, 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 a more power to the glow in the dark putty that you'll see right here. And it's also very easy to come off your shoe. Just gonna roll up with your thumb like this. Making sure it's a nice clean shoe. And there you go. And that is how you do the magic glowing gum trick gag. Now for our thrown up, and that is the flashing mouth prank gag. There is the performance straight to you right now. Mm. Okay. You want to notice this is done? It's pretty simple. And that is what you'll see right here, which is the flashing mouth. As it is, it is a retainer. You can see here, it's supposed to into your mouth like this. And in the inside, there's a little button here that can turn it on and off. Anyway, you can, you can, hear, you can see here are the b batteries. As it is, I'm going to show you the package right now. And that is what you'll see right here. It's LED. And here are the instructions on the back of the package.
snug and then the cozy thing you could do and get yourself into for back to school. And that is how you do the flashing mouth prank egg. Now for our fourth one, that is the super stylin futuristic shades trick egg. Here is the performance. Okay, so here are my uh, cool shades, the futuristic looking cool shades here. I'm going to put this on to my head. Watch. As soon as I put them on, whoa. No, it's dead. And again, at last, turn them off again. As it is, I want to see these things in the dark. I will show you right now in the dark. Okay, so as it is, there it go. You can see the futuristic look of the shades. And again, How is this done? For example, to feel the secret behind the futuristic shades. As it is, these shades are LEDs that you'll see in the lines around the shades. And here you get the, bat and the, the batteries, and here is the dial. You press this, and it starts to lighten up. So, the um, upper rim plus the uh, ear bands also light up as well. Again, it has different kinds of settings. What you're going to do to make this a trick is you're going to pretend that you have an itch back here. And as you itch, you're, you're going to actually push this. Okay. But what you're going to do is going to snap your fingers every time that you're doing that for a new change. First time on, snap. You got to do this in unison. And again. Just like that. And that is how you do the Super Stalin Futuristic Shades Trick Gig. Now for our fifth one, which is the vanishing stack of pens. Magic trick. There is the performance. Okay, you can see my stack of pens here. I just put them on with an elastic. You can see I've got green, black, and on the other side, red. As is, because of this quantity, I'm going to make them vanish. Okay, watch this. You can see it's still there, right? One, two, three. Wow. Super, that was super slick. Well, I know how this is done. It's what you'll a secret behind the vanishing pen stack. All you need for this is three or more pens with an elastic. That's why I call, call that a stack because you stack them together and you put them on with an elastic. So here's what you're going to, to do to make this stack vanish. As you're doing this about three times, you're going to show that they're still there. Again, that's the time for this one. What you're going to do is you count one, two, and you count three. You're going to drop these in your lap like this. And then bring up, all your hands together, and then so that they have vanished. So it'll look just like this. Okay, here, we're going to go like this.
That's all that it is to it. It's very simple. It's a good one you could do and pull off for back to school. And that is how you do the fashion stack of pants magic trick. Now for our sixth, our sixth one, which was the magic appearing pen from thin air trick. Here is the performance. Okay, say how I can make a pen come out of thin air. What? Okay, that was just a warm up there. Okay, now watch. Sorry for the retakes. My sincere apologies. Again, watch. There we go. How is this done? So I'm going to reveal the secret behind the pen from thin air. Here's what you'll need. You'll need is an elastic hooked onto the pen cap. They see right, right here, and again, try not to to do uh, um, um, takes like those things. But again, you know, like accuracy is involved in it. this thing here. It's a really cool trick you can do for back to school. All you gotta do is put it onto your pointer finger, pull back here. You're going to make sure that you are holding it like this. So as it suits out. Like this, it'll swing up and get into in one second. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, let's dead try one again. So, again, from here, let go. Make sure that as it swings back, it'll swing around here and you, you know, catch it and pitching it with your thumb, pointer, and middle finger, like this. So that way, it looks nice and natural as you catch it. Because I want to, sh to um, re recap that one again, I'll show you. There we go. That is what you're looking for, right there. A sweet, rockin', trick you can get yourself into for back to school. And again, my apologies for the retakes on, on, on there as it was. I was doing pr pretty good with that one. Um, again, practice makes perfect. Uh, once it nailed down, you can make, you can surprise everyone with playing pens from thin air. And that is how you do the Magic appearing pen from thin air. Trick. Tip, making sure the elastic is down to here. Making sure it's kind of the same color as your hand. Just wanted to throw that one out to you guys. Okay, so here, here we are at number seven, and that is the shrinking popsicle stick. Magic trick. Here it is. The performance. Okay, you can see I got a full popsicle stick here. Back and front. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shrink this. Watch. Notice that I can make it grow back again. Watch. How is this select trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind this. All you'll need is one popsicle stick. What you're going to do with the popsicle stick is you're going to break it. Okay, so it'll look like this. So you get two halves of the popsicle stick. Make sure the break is like this. Here is the reason. 
because as it goes together like this, it's going to become one. You can barely even see the break. And again, on the other side there, like that, you're going to hold this down like this. So it looks like a full popsicle stick. Okay, so what it's going to do next is you're going to put this into your hand and a hold and pinch like this. All you're doing here is you're just going to actually sift. Lift up and sift like this. And that's going to make it shrink in size, making sure that you are covering this part with your f finger. And this part here is hiding this part here. So, as it looks like from here, it looks like it actually shrank in size. And if you go back in size, all you gotta do is with your other finger, your thumb, you're going to move it like this. Make sure this is still hiding as you are pulling the other one down like this. And then once you get it down, to where the where you uh, broke it, you're gonna sew that right back into its full state. And that is how you do the shrinking popsicle stick magic trick. Now for our eighth one, which is the magic elastic snap restore trick. Here is the performance. Okay, can you see? We got this elastic here. Watch. If I can go like this, watch. Okay, I'll put it back in and I'm going to have it to restore itself. Watch. Can you see? It's now restored. How is this classic original trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind it. All you'll need is quite simple is an elastic that you see right here. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to put one end up from here like this, wrap the other end down to where your pinky is. So you're holding it quite tightly. Take your other hand and stretch it like this so it looks like an actual band. From here you're going to actually is take the end from here so it looks like you're going to snap it. You're going to actually put an action to it, like you rip, like that, pull tightly, so it looks like it's an actual break, snap into your hand, or put it into your hand, and from here it's already restored, you put it into, put it into the other hand, rub it together, bounce it around, and by magic, restore the elastic band. And that is how you do the Magic Elastic Snap Restore Trick. And now for our ninth one, which is the Magic A Angel Zip Bag Red Chips Trick. Here is the performance. Okay, as it is, I'm going to just open up this uh, angel zip bag here, and inside are some nice red chips. Okay, this, as it is, I got four right here. I'm going to actually just put them into the, the angel bag. Watch, so that's going to put it in. Here and again, back in again, like this as it is now. I'm going to zip the bag up like this so it'll stay inside this bag. Okay, so here's where the, the magic happens. Watch. right out from the angel zip bag. How is this 
master trick done, I'm about to reveal a secret behind it. All what you'll need is four poker chips. Um, you can get in like in the um, game section. You can get like different color ones, but you can look for things that look like in school, like these red ones here, or you can get blue or green. Okay, so here is what, what you'll need next: the angel bag or any bag that is something. With a very nice on it, like a unicorn or something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly the, the angel bag that you see right here. Okay, so how to, to do this? I'm going to show you how this is done. Okay, so first up, bag is unzipped and so on. And then from here, I'll come out I'll come out close. You're going to actually hold your hand like this. So as you put it into the bag like this, it looks like as if you bring it into the bag, really you're going down here, and you're gonna palm it into your hand like this. Okay. Just like that. Then from here you can see I'll put it in, in a bag like this because it actually does look like I'm, I'm actually putting these into the bag. You can put me in one at a time if you want or the whole lot that you see me doing. And then you go from here then after down here, you're going to zip the bag shut like this, keeping these into your palm of your hand. Then from here, you're going to take your bag because now that you're going to think they're in the bag. All you got to do is cover your hand like this, and then I got to do is with your other hand swat on the bag, and then let the bag go. Revealing the ch chips that were once inside the angel bag. And that is how you do the ma magic in angel zip bag red chips trick. Now for our t tenth one, which is the, ma the magic blue chip top hat magic trick. Here it is. The performance. Okay, I got my blue tip here. Watch this. You see? Watch. Again, watch. And last. How is this rocking trick done? Because I'm about to reveal the secret of the blue chips and the top hat that you see right here that I'm holding up. Here's what you'll need. Your small top hat. Um, you could uh, get this and like at a store around Halloween time or whatever like that that has these little top hats or the, you know like top hats for um, Ladies fashion tend to have this. All I gotta do is make it up some magical, just like this, or something gold or nice and shiny to dress it up. Next, you'll need is those blue poker chips that I've been uh, telling you guys about right here. You're gonna need four of them. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep one and keep three. What you're going to do is, you can sure they're all lined up into your hand like this. Okay. Because what you're going to do is, you'll hold one. And then with, with the, uh, t the uh, t op hat, all you're going to do is you're going to put this in. And you're going to take one out from your palm, like this. So I'm going to do this, and be quick, and, and, and catch. And again, that same thing. You're going to slip the next one into your, your fingers again. Throw it again, and catch that one. And then the last thing, you're going to do that same thing again. As it is, here's a tip, making sure that you're quick 
with the draw. This, and this is a really cool trick you could do for back to school. It's a very nice magic, magic, magic trick to set the mood. And that is how you do the magic blue ch chip top hat magic trick. Now for our 11th one, which is the Coke can paper cup trick. Here is the performance. Okay, so here is my uh, Coke can here. And here is my white cup. You can see. Right here. Okay, what I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to place the lid on top of that uh, of the cup that you see right here. I'm now going to use the, my Coke can and I'm going to magically pass this right through the bottom of the cup and into the cup. Check this out. Watch. Let's see. Still intact. Watch. See now? Now I'm going to take it out so you guys can get to see the Coke can. You want to know how this very epic trick is done? So I'm going to reveal the secret behind this. Here's what you'll need for this trick. And that's what you'll see here. A, co a Coke can, a white cup, and a lid. What it's going to do with the white cup is it's going to get a hole into, into that one. For the Coke can, it's going to make sure that you have some white paper so that as the Coke can is inside like this, it will cr cr create the emptiness. Like, not emptiness, the fullness of the cup, I should say. Okay, so that, that's one part of the uh, thing. Next part is what you'll see, see right here, which is the next part that will hide it. That is a little bit of of um, an index card with a magnet taped onto on to it as well. You're gonna put this into the cup like this. So I'll say this from here is gonna creep. Cr create the um, fullness of the cup as well and then from here the cap is also taped a, ma a magnet in here as well too that way as a magnet goes together like this okay it'll go just like this okay so how it is done I'll put this back in, in again, like this. Okay, make sure it comes on by giving a little tap. So that way, it looks just like one. Okay, all you're going to do is going to put your lid on top. That you see me doing. You take your a Coke can. You take your paper cup. Put it on top. And then sink it down like that. The Coke can is now on the inside of the cup. Lift the cup up again. You don't see a thing there. It just blends in so nicely into the cup. Take the lid off to show the cup on the inside. With this, you're going to put down so they do not get to see that. From there, you're going to take the Coke can out. Be careful not showing this. That's all there is to it. And that is how you do the Coke can paper cup trick. Now for our 12th one, which is the spilt apple juice on artwork prank gag. Here is the performance. Hey, is that my artwork? Oh, shoot. I'm terribly sorry. I did not mean to spill apple juice all over your artwork. 
I'm upset. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Jane. Yeah? Um, I hate to break the, the news to you. You say that's your apple juice? I gotcha. That was clever. I got Jane really g g g g right with this one. You can see here the apple juice on the artwork. The one I have this is done, but to reveal a secret behind it. Okay, so here's what you'll what you'll be needing here is some yellow dull paper that looks like apple juice, an apple juice can that's gonna be taped to some some paper. Then you can see here. What's gonna do is gonna go up to their drawing. It's gonna be the drawing that and that I have here. They walk in, they're going to say, Oh, you spilled apple juice all over my artwork. Now I'm going to redo it all over again. And then they, 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 they feel upset. And then you look at them and are like, Really? Is that real apple juice? And then we, you pick up their artwork. They don't see the can coming off. Watch their face just drop when they see. This, making sure now here, here's a little tip, making sure that the label bowling, the English side, or if it's, if you're from a different um, place, you can have that shown as well too. Um, but again, making sure that label is facing them, that way they will get to know what it is. Let alone, you can see the apples here too, so they obviously know it's it's apple juice. And right here is a really cool pink you can do for back to school. And that is how you do the spilt apple juice on artwork prank gag. Now for our 13th one, and that is the report card prank. Here is the performance. Okay, so you can see Robbie Johnson's report card here. He goes all the way down here. here. Here's all his classes that he's taking, and one of them happens to be F. He failed in drama. Whoa. Hey, Robbie. Yeah? Uh, did you know you failed in um, drama? Really? Let me see. Here. Whoa. That's happy. Okay. Hey, Robbie, do you want to see a trick? Yes. Okay. Okay. You see the F on drama? How about if I do something with that? Check this out. Watch. You can see he originally had an A plus in drama. You had an A plus in drama. Good so, Robbie. Thank you. That was sweet. You want to know how this is done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind the report card. Now, I'm not saying all report cards are, are like this, but some are in some places. And here are all the classes. You can make this yourself, too. They can make them think that um, it was kind of their like, re report card sheet, right? So you get the name, get the date, the report card name, all the classes that they're taking, and all the, gr the grades that they scored. You can get the comments inside there. Um, and again, you can see in drama, A+. Plus. Here is where the thing comes into play. And that is, you're going to cut out from the same kind of paper as the letter F. Now, F means fail, right? So you're going to put that and you're going to bring their attention to the report card. They're going to think, 
I didn't feel all that. You know, like, oh yeah, you did, f you did fail drama, right? So I can make them think that they failed a class when they did do it. They didn't. So you take your seat. Find um, academic. You put the little F on. Let's see right here, making sure they hold flush. Making sure they they can they can actually get to see see the acad academic like this, right? So that's uh, make sure it's like that, and that's home act that I'm covering up like that. And I'm gonna do say, hey, do you want to see a trick? All I gotta do is let this drop as it hands over, and magically give them the C grade on their report card. Well, it's going to be absolutely amazed and stunned that they've seen that they had a fail when there wasn't, and they applied a trick, and now they are surprised. And that is how you do the report card prank. Now for the last one, at number 14, that is the flying away pop quiz prank gag. Here is the performance. Okay, so you can see the pop quiz here. And all the questions on it. You see here, I'll come up close and I'm going to take a look at it. As it is, I have a student that is going to be taking this pop quiz. I'm going to put it down on the, on the table and uh, with this nice red pen that you see right here and have him fill it out. Okay, so here's this pop quiz I want you, I want you to do. Here it is and here is the, here is the pen. Right there, I'll put up in the cap for you. I say, I can yeah. do the quiz. Okay, as, as it is, I'm just gonna go off and uh, see what what else uh, that they have to do. Well, I'm sorry. Did that fly away on you? Here, I'll bring it back up again. Yeah, there you go. Oh man, I am so I'm so sorry about that.